Hello and welcome to Policymakers, a podcast wherein I, Senator Waldron, and my good friend Sean Sheridan will put forward policies one at a time in the hope of alleviating some of today's biggest political problems. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Policymakers. I am Sean Sheridan. With me as always is my good friend Senator Waldron. Hello, how are you doing today? All oh, right, you're just addressing the internet in general. That's my new theme for 2016. I've got my new opening catchphrase. Is there any part of the internet you're... No, nope, just... You're, you're hello, internet. Oh, okay. Hello, internet. Good morning, <laughs> pornography. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're working on sign-offs. I might try one this evening. We'll see how okay, we Okay, okay, let's... Uh, yeah, we'll see how we fly on yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're back with You the... said it, Sean. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. I've got t-shirts made up. You said it, Sean. <laughs> Wait till I say something first. But I mean, I just want to introduce that that's going to oh, be okay, the, new, okay, okay. the new thing. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, well, uh, it's the second episode of the new and improved Policymakers. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, what are we doing this week, Senan? Well, uh, last week uh, we did 2015. Yeah. Year we, in review. We hardly knew you. We hardly <laughs> knew you. So now we're going to do 2016. A new lover in our mists. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to do a uh, rundown yeah, so, on our predictions so of the year. It, it's the we're, when we're recording this. It's the eleventh of January. So this yep. is like the the honeymoon period of exactly. twenty sixteen. Like, oh, oh, we're interested yeah. in this twenty sixteen. Like, oh, you know, let's let's kind of playful. Let's see what it's into. You know. Yeah, but you and, know, um, we've kind a, of apparently it's into. Uh, right-wing mental cases taking over federal buildings. Yeah, and yeah, that's fucking great, isn't it? Uh, dead rock stars. I know. I like. I was like, you know, I'm trying to think that maybe 2016 might be a lot more fragile and crazier than we originally expected. When yeah, we started dating, you know. Well, fragile and crazy. It does. It did hang out with 2015 there for a while, and shit like that rubs off. Yeah, you see, what happened was we kind of just like when, uh, just like with my last two yeah. wives. I should have got a buffer wife in between. <laughs> exactly, you know what I mean? My yeah. third wife was well, a strong Latino woman, and my fourth wife was a strong Latino woman. I should have got yeah. a buffer. Well, in fairness, your second, third, and fourth wives were sisters. So, yeah, you know, that yeah, was, yeah, I should have had a buffer wife. Yeah, that was, you know, you should you should have at least, you know, should have at least, you know, tried an Asian or something halfway through. An Asian through, girl, but, or like, yeah. I don't know, a mathematician professor, or something, just something interesting. Just some, yeah. You know, just break up yeah, the monotony. I think, I think of, we've fallen into the same trap of 2016 so far now. We haven't realized that actually 2016's actually, we got out of the 2015 yeah. to get into 2016, mm. but I don't know, 2016 is looking like it might be a lot similar. Yeah. You know and I mean? a bit on, and a bit fucking unstable. A bit That's unstable. We should have had like a dice yeah. of like 20, we should have gone back to 2012. Yeah, you know, we should have gone back to 2012 no, in a couple we, of weeks. You we should know. have gone back to 2008. That bitch knew uh, how to 2008, party. Yeah, that was the job. You know, that. She was fucking, crazy. Fucking she was paninis crazy. and lifestyle mags. Was, Man, you oh. know, do you remember when she was just like, hey, what do you want to do today? And we ended up going to Paris. Yeah. yeah it was great. It was great times, yeah. yeah. But you oh. can't keep that up. Yeah, I you suppose. Know what I mean? I suppose. We're, we're, uh, you know, I'm 2008's a young man's game. Young man's yeah. game, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, let's look forward. Yeah, yeah. aggressively into you know, 2016. We're, we're we're older, more mature, mm-hmm. and into rope your viewers now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're looking for someone to settle down with, have a few months, maybe a couple of weeks down the road. Yeah, but, you know. But we're not entirely too serious. Yeah, know? let's get too much into. It. We have before that we have our news story of the week. Of course, we have our, our regular section. Yeah, yeah, our our news in brief. Our if news you will. in brief. Yeah, yeah. And um, this regular is a, listeners to the show would also know and enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. this one comes from our good friends, Ru- the Russian state media at RT dot com. This one, the friends of the show, friends of the show. Putin is our boy. Yeah, <laughs> um, he loves to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake, shake it, it off. off. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to have Spetsnaz coming after us now. <laughs> but, um, Add them to the list. Okay. Um, again, another tremendous, tremendous headline. A great offering here from yeah. the, uh, for our friends across the pond. Okay. Secret Service foils plan to kidnap Obama's dogs. Are you still playing with me? Uh, Are you still playing a, with this? It's a great title. Okay. Wait, wait. There's more. By man claiming to be Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those headlines that just keeps getting crazier by the know. <laughs> it just keeps getting more and more. Of it. Yeah, well, like, it's, Secret it's, Service foils plan. Oh, interesting. Okay. And it just gets weirder and weirder and yeah, weirder. Yeah, to kidnap Obama, 
Okay. Mm. You, okay. Well, that's yeah. cool. Z- Obama's dogs. Okay. It's uh, taking a weird turn now. Yeah, you're going down the hole now. By man claiming to be Jesus. We're in crazy yeah, town. That's it. We're in we're crazy town. Stella. <laughs> oh my god right uh, let me just read this out for you a North Dakota man who claims to be both Jesus and the love child of John F. Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe has been arrested for planning to kidnap one of the first family's dogs he was armed with various kinds of weapons and ammunition Scott Stockard was arrested Wednesday at a Hampton Inn near the Washington Convention Center after Secret Service agents Keep found, classy. found <laughs> unregistered firearms in his truck as well as hundreds of rounds of ammunition, according to court file- filings, agents went to the hotel after claiming to be uh, after claiming to be on the lookout. The lookout. Alert from S- Secret Service's Minnesota field office about the plan to kidnap Bo or Sonny, the Obama's Portuguese water dogs. Uh, yeah, Minnesota. Okay, well, what's going on in Minnesota? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to ask why. Why does Minnesota have a Secret Service field office? Why do they have people who have it, mad for kidnapping dogs? Is there is there like a you know is is there like a hockey team out there that wants to assassinate the president or something? Is there something in the water? Quite that possibly is encouraging people to take crystal meth or. <laughs> It could just be crystal meth. It could be crystal meth. I mean, um, that would make sense. Well, actually, there seems to be a theme running through these news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, news in brief. Sure, like crystal meth. News in news in brief. Brought to you by crystal meth. <laughs> yeah. If Come you've to got soda. <laughs> yeah, if you've got teeth, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they, it's it's a pretty amazing story. I know, right? Uh, they, See, they, this is one... I, I was saying this beforehand. Um, in any other country, this man would be an amusing distraction. I, he'd be confined to the local papers. Yeah, he'd, he'd be just some, you know, crazy Joe down yeah, the road. He'd, mad for kidnapping dogs. Yeah, he'd, he'd, be the guy, he'd be the guy in the corner of the pub that no one really goes near... Who you know? Whose eyes don't blink at the same time? Yeah, exactly. He'd be that guy. He'd be the guy. Mm. And uh, all of our listeners in Ireland, I don't know about the rest of the world, but all of our listeners in Ireland would know there's always an interesting guy. Yeah. In the town square, carrying a plastic plastic bag. Yeah. Everyone has one. Every town has Every a town. lad carrying a plastic bag, mm. just walking up the street, walking down the street again. Yeah. That's the kind of guy we're talking you, about. You know, here. you know the guy when you're when you're sitting in Supermax eating mm. uh, curry chips at the end of the night. He'll come over to you and tell you how he once uh, took, literally exploded a man's head with the punch. You yeah, know, that yeah. guy. You that know, guy. You know the guy who gets on the bus mm. and it says he's a senior citizen. Yeah. Even though he's about like thirty. Yeah. But the bus driver is like, "That's fine." Yeah, just just get just on fine. there. Just that guy. That, that guy. guy. Yeah, that yeah. guy. You know, in any other in any other country, he's that guy. Yeah. In America. He's a danger to himself and others. <laughs> yeah, and I don't, I don't know what it is, because, because you know, crazy shit does happen in every part of the world. Oh, of like, course, you know, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure we will find a lot of diverse, oh, there's a you lot know, coming. fucking news and brief stories. Yeah, but in America, there seems to be a lot of this shit going mm. down, and I'm not entirely sure why. You know, I mean, it's. I, I, and I, the, don't get me wrong, Americans. There, this is part of the reason I love you. Oh, because this is America. Yeah, yeah. I mean that, that headline. Yeah, was a crazy Secret Service uh, uh, command plot to stop crazy man stealing oh, president's oh, dog. Like, yeah, that that just sums up America. He I mean, that's, that's, that's what it's Jesus. all about. Yeah. Every time I see one of these news and briefs mm. from America, it's yeah, it's it's what makes me love them even more. Okay, greatest country on earth. Okay, the, this this is brilliant. All right. According to the the Secret Service, um, released in in a court document, um, part of the interview they they oh, conducted wow. with him, and one of the quotes is, "You picked the wrong person to fuck with. I will fuck your world up." <laughs> Stocker told agents during questioning. <laughs> wow, that's it's a strong line. It's a strong line. I mean, there, there's little I mean, room for ambiguity lot, in that. It's a lot different from, I'll, I'll plead the fifth. I mean, that's a really, <laughs> yeah. really getting to the heart of the matter there. Absolutely. Um, although, in fairness, any man who tells the Secret Service that he he will fuck their world up, that is, that's a man with considerable balls. 
I mean, you take the crazy out of this. Yeah, I mean, like you take you take the mental out of this equation, and yeah, then he probably we probably wouldn't be talking about him. Then. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. He'd be a bank manager or something. No, no, like that. no, no. I'm I'm saying you know let let's leave out let's leave out the crazy. Okay, right? and just focus on the testicular fortitude of of what this man just did. You mean uh, trying to fuck the world? Yeah, I mean that's a. It's uh, it's a time consuming business. It's a time consuming business. You know, absolutely, you, you definitely want the whole weekend. It's what a four day weekend. Yeah, and telling the Secret Service you're going to do this while they have you in custody and are about to beat you around the face with a phone book. Yeah, that's that is that is some it's confidence. Yeah, it's confidence. That, you know, you know what I mean. It's that, guided yeah. confidence, but you know that is some overripe tangerine bollocks right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean he's hanging lemons for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I, I can't be too mad at this guy. I, I feel no. I, I, I feel. I just. I feel uh, like if I make fun of this guy, he will find out where I live and just beat me around the place with a fucking bowl of petunias just because he's fucking mental. He does seem like the kind of guy who would. Uh, you said he's from Minnesota, was it? Yeah. Obviously enough, he does seem like the kind of guy who would spend weeks, months, years trolling through back catalogues mm. of old Irish podcasts <laughs> to find something that's personally insulting to him. Well, the, the, it's cold winters, man. You know, cold you can't winters go out up much. There. Cold winters up <laughs> yeah. there. Um, Stockard also said he planned to go to the capital to advocate for $99 per month health care and to announce he was running for president. Oh, my God. Oh, I... That's... I want this guy's be, better than Trump. Yeah, I want, Already. To, I want to be his campaign manager. Oh, I would love to manage that guy. He's the only guy who can out crazy Trump. Oh man, that's it. Maybe that's maybe he's going to run yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, Trump. Trump is going to come out as like you know, all Mexicans are rapists, and this guy is just going to come out and it's like the spoon people live in my <laughs> eyes. But we can all agree on ninety nine dollar a month. <laughs> <laughs> Trump crazy person 2016 <laughs> <laughs> oh yes promote I would I, w- I would vote for that hey, you'd just for that to see what day. would happen all day I'd vote for that yeah you know, I, I want to see what the vice pre- you know the vice president's initiatives you know mm. um, more mackerel in student in student socks <laughs> you how know? do you plan to solve the uh, Syria crisis well I thought we could start by getting 400 ducks <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a, uh, and how how do you how do you ho- how do you plan to fix the infrastructure, the failing infrastructure of America? Spoons, spoons, and also a ninety nine dollar health <laughs> plan. At which point, everyone realizes, like, oh, he can only say like four sentences. He, that that would actually be how you could sell Americans on Obamacare. If you just say something incredibly mental yeah, just yeah. before you fucking... We should nuke the moon! And also, a $99... Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that was yeah. a real plan. Uh, you know that, right? Nuking the moon? Yeah. For what? Uh, just to prove... This... No, th- this is a was real... Was the mid-60s, late yes. early 70s, where they're just like, we've got loads of nukes, loads uh, of rockets, so we're just going to fucking do whatever. Uh, they, this was like the start of the Cold War. Yeah, right. And uh, it was back when, when Truman was still in charge. Ah, Truman. And, um, you know... Uh, uh, the the Russians had just put a man in space. Yeah, yeah and yeah. the Americans were thinking, we can't we can't let them think we've gone soft. <laughs> we can't put a man out in space just yet, but we can put <laughs> a fucking nuclear yeah. rocket. I think there was just, I mean, and they like, were. I was thinking about there, this recently. There, there is like there. There's like a legit fucking like thing. an actual plan yeah. to get a rocket to blow up to blow the up fucking... a ch- chunk of the moon yeah. for no reason, no reason, no reason, just to annoy the yeah. Russians. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. What are you gonna say? Well, it's just that like I was reading a bit about the uh, the, the, the 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 space race. Yeah, and even though there's been like a lot of technological fallout from it, like mm. you know, like the microwave and satellites and all that crack, it really was at the time just. Two super nations just trying to out crazy each other. <laughs> yeah, where the Russians put up a thing that's Sputnik, mm. and that was the start of it. That was a good idea. Yeah, it's like oh, we could go to space, so we can mm. send radios down. And then the American says, "Well, we're going to put a monkey in space." Yeah, and the Russian says, "Fine, we'll put a dog up there." And so on and so forth. It went until they yeah. went, "Yeah, we well, we went to the moon." Yeah, which if you said that to someone like before 1968, was it was that the moon? Yeah. Reference? If you said that to any person in history mm. before that, 
crazy person. Yeah. You are a crazy person. You mm. will never get anyone on the moon. But America, the whole nation did it. The yeah. whole nation got together and did it. They are crazy. I love uh, it. I, I see it a different way. I see like uh, uh, the two biggest uh, the two biggest superpowers in the world at that time mm. having a, having a dick measuring contest and going to insane lengths <laughs> to win this dick measuring contest. So right, like you yeah. know uh you know where like america would just like pull it a bit too hard yeah just a bit too Straight hard a bit too much you know and yeah. then you know russia just like dangle a bit of weight off it yeah yeah you know and uh, then, yeah and then you know and then america would just like uh would just like ha- hang like a brick off it and throw the brick off the side of a building you yeah. know just to get a good stretch on it so it's even you know and and meanwhile, well, the Russians and the Europeans were yeah. rebuilding their society. Yeah, and trying to like you know yeah. be better human beings. Yeah, yeah. And, um, hey, hey, look, who are we to argue with possibly the two craziest nations I to mean, ever exist? They're still out there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. Despite you know, despite all, they're still out there. Yeah, and um, I again, I I feel bad for I feel bad for having a go, but. God damn, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, I'll tell. But anyway, yeah. This lad here, uh, among other items found in uh, was it Stockards? Yeah. In Stockards trucks were uh, mm. an unloaded twelve gauge pump action shotgun, a bolt action rifle. Yeah. Uh, two hundred eighty nine rounds of two two caliber bullets. Yeah. Uh, Seventy one rounds of twelve gauge. Mm-hmm. Uh, two rounds of, for a two two three rifle. Two rounds. Why does he have two rounds for now? Because he's got he's got seventy one rounds, two hundred I... rounds. He's like. And, uh, two of those ones at the back I as think, well. Uh, yeah, I think he just sort of ran out of cash. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I've got four bucks left. That's enough for a couple Yeah, pretty bucks, much, right? pretty much. Yeah. And, and, uh, and an 18-inch billy club. Like, the, the, I wouldn't say it's the problem of America, but I think a big problem having in America mm. is irresponsible gun setters. Yeah. It's not so much the gun ownership, it's the people who are... Because, like, say if I was to... Uh, right, you'd be the gun setter person. Right? Okay, okay. Okay. Right. okay. Scene. We're doing a little skit. A little skit here, okay. Yeah. Hello, good sir. I'm a Republican. I'm also a former soldier. I would like a rifle. What kind of rifle would you like, sir? How about this one right here? This is a very good model. It has a good action. It, it's, it's self-cleaning. And it costs $2,000. Interesting. Here's $2,000. Do you... Wait. I need, to, I need to see some ID. There's a three-day waiting period... And after that, you can come back and collect your gun. Okay, well, here's my ID. Mm-hmm. I shall return in three days for the gun. Excellent. Scene, Scene right? Yeah. Perfectly normal. Yeah. That's how, I would say, 90% of gun transactions in America go, yeah. right? And that, was, that guy is not worth worrying about. No, that guy. he's a normal, he's a former soldier, protecting yeah. his family, great, yeah. right? Okay, now here's the second scenario, mm-hmm. okay? And this is where irresponsible gun ownership comes in. Okay. okay. Scene. 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 Okay. Hello, sir, I would like to buy a gun. What sort of gun would you like, sir? Anyone that can shoot at the moon because those Chinese are going to get there first and if I don't stop them, the Christians are going to fall. Well, I have I have a bazooka here, sir. Is it any good at killing children? It's quite good I'll at take children. ten. <laughs> and five beers. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, the the beers are over, and the beers are over two, do- two aisles over. Ah, so. right, because, because of the Russians. Right. The, sh- sure. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Also, so, I'll take uh, a pump-action shotgun, uh, 290 rounds for yeah. the bazooka, 71 rounds for the shotgun, and two of these. It's two what? of these rounds here. Two of these little three feet, just right here. Well, why, why two of them? I have my reasons. Okay, I, I'm, okay. Uh, I'm going to need to see some, some ID, and uh, there's a three-day waiting period. Mm-hmm. So, um, can, I, can I get... Would, this, would you believe that this photograph... Of my brother is me. No. I have five thousand dollars. Done. Scene. 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 And that's that, that's irresponsible. <laughs> that's just irresponsible, you know? Yes, exactly. And I think that's you know a big problem with the uh, <laughs> that that's that's my take on American gun crime. <laughs> <laughs> We've figured it out, you ladies figured and out. gentlemen. Bang. We've figured it out. Problem solved. Um no th- this is I, I'm just. I, I, this is this is one. Uh, why why the dogs? Why the dogs? Because he was obviously well armed. Yeah, he had a shotgun and whatever. Like, yeah, was he? What was his plan? <laughs> what was he, why did he want the dogs? What uh, was yeah, the... If, if you're if you're going to break into say, 
Yeah, if you're going to break into 1600 Pennsylvania, like mm-hmm. there, possibly are, the most secure building in the world. Yeah, up there with like Fort Knox mm-hmm. and the Kremlin. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> in terms of security, there are you know there are like higher fucking there are bigger targets you can take at that point. Yeah. You know, like say his wife or his vice president or yeah, his daughters or, or, or him. Yeah, yeah. Or you know, it's literally. I, I would argue, mm. maybe incorrectly, but I would argue, if you were able to break in yeah. to the White House any given day, those two dogs, as cute and as beautiful as they are, might be the least valuable thing in exactly. that house. You know, Apart from maybe the flowers outside or something. <laughs> exactly. You know, may, maybe he had, like, this awesome fucking stealth, stealthy plan, you know, mm-hmm. that he was going to, like, you know, just shoot a knockout shot into, like, the dog walker yeah, and yeah. make his clothes down from the ceiling yeah a big expensive job yeah but to what end I have no idea <laughs> what, what is this who is this man what does he want how how brilliant would it be is uh, that as soon as he kidnapped the dogs he realised he was allergic to dog hair oh I would love that and then he'd have to go back in and try and get the cat yeah <laughs> that'd be great and the whole love... time his eye you know his face is just puffing up <laughs> puffing up and he's under fire and he's trying to get out <laughs> Yeah, once again, the news in brief, bringing up more questions than answers. It truly is. Yeah, I mean, you know, there there are so many, and I don't doubt for a second there will be a lot more of those. Yeah. I don't doubt for a second. Thank you, Russian state media, for giving us this <laughs> gift. Thank you, Russian state media. Policymakers, so- salute to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so- I'm really sorry we compared the Cold War to a massive dick measuring contest. Okay, sense back to the conversation. Yeah, um, um, what what is what is the what is the, the point of our show today? <laughs> generally? Or <laughs> well, this week um right, we got to look forward yeah to 2016. Absolutely. Predictions what it could bring over. Mm-hmm. Now I've written 10 very precise yeah predictions. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you how it came around those in a while. Yeah. Uh, do you also have a number of predictions? I, I have some predictions, yeah. You have some predictions. Okay, mm. well, why don't we go to a commercial break, mm-hmm. and when we come back, we'll predict the hell out of it. Oh, man, I'm so bored. What's wrong, John? I'm, I'm, I'm bored. You're totally bored? Yeah, I just said I was. Well, I've got just a treat for that. Well, what's that? Uh, Policymakers. It's a brand new podcast. Yeah? It's only... 20 or 21 episodes in by this stage. Oh, that's that's brand new. Brand new, yeah. And what, what what's it about? Uh, well, it's about uh, these two really handsome, smart guys. Mm-hmm. Called Selen and Sean. Yeah. And what they do is they solve social ills of the day. Wow, that is... They're doing a public service. They're doing a public service and it's all for free. Wow. Yeah. Where, where can I find this podcast? Well, you can download it on SoundCloud. Yeah. That's SoundCloud forward slash Policymakers. Mm. Or you could find it on YouTube. And the best way to find it on YouTube would be to put it up on Facebook. So mm. come and find us and like us on Facebook. That's Facebook Policymakers. Wow. That, yeah. that's, that sounds amazing. I, it would change your life. I, I was just going to masturbate into a bucket, but that's a way better idea. It's a way better idea. And you could do one after the other. Or why not both at the same time? Why not, Sean? I'm doing it in the comfort and safety of my own home. No yeah. one can judge me except God. And you can download it right now. Soundcloud.com forward slash policymakers. You've sold me. I sold you. And we're back. Yeah, we are very back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial break. I know I did. I hope you're ready for our predictions. I had a wonderful mic. But anyways, um Simon, what yes. what are your what are your Give us a prediction for 2016. Well, uh, as you know, policymakers, mm. we're fairly, we're a global organization. Yeah. We have headquarters in Bangkok, in London, New York, Mayo, mostly in Mayo, but we have headquarters all over the Kuala world. Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Kyoto, Ecuador. Minnesota. Um, Minnesota, mm-hmm. Addis Ababa. Mm-hmm. You know, um, just towns with funny names, basically. basically yeah, Cucamonga. Yeah. Cucamonga is another one, yeah. Baja. Baja, yeah, yeah. Tiny uh, Cochran Trent. Yeah, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Yeah. Uh, 
And with that, we're able to kind of connect into the global matrix, Absolutely. talk to people, see what's going there. We're, we're on the global frequency. We're on the global frequency, which is very hard to understand. So I've spent the last maybe uh, six weeks, yeah. 11 days, 11 days. <laughs> I spent a lot of the time drinking as well. <laughs> and uh, I kind of plugged myself into this matrix. I stood in front of the big screen. You know okay. the big screen? Yeah. I wanted to make a screen of all the TV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Connected to everything. It's like that you know, one from um, from uh, Batman. All oh, right. Yeah, it's like that, but it's full of blue shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's sort of like Ozymandias' one and now uh, watch Yeah, it. exactly. Gotcha. But like way more boobs. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. And, and I've clicked it all in, and I've managed to funnel it down to ten tight little predictions. Okay, okay. And the first one of which might be the most important. Go on. It might save humanity. Mm-hmm. It might save you. It might save me. might definitely me, save Me, like, Sean Sherry. You, Sean okay, Sherry, okay. me personally. And will probably you help. Have, you have my attention. Generations to come. Go on. So, number one prediction. Yeah. 2016. The turtleneck is back. Wow. Yeah. Hey, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You say it's going to save me. Are you... What are you saying? Man? Well, I can't, like, I can't, I don't know, I don't have, it's like rolling the dice. I don't know how the dice rolls. I just know that you need to get yourself a turtleneck or a tactile neck. Are you, are you, are you saying I got a fat neck, motherfucker? No, I'm not saying you've got a fat neck. I'm implying you've got a fat neck. Gotta have a bit of class about it. But I think the turtleneck's going to be big this year. I think we're going to see... Yeah, well, a, a lot of people did put on a lot of weight, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, personally, I... Christmas has been held. You know, uh, honestly, I, I can't really be held responsible for my weight gain. Because mm-hmm. every time I fuck your mother, she gives me a low-calorie biscuit. Yeah. And um, and that's why I will always be faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the turtleneck is going to be big this year. Because it just... It's ready for a comeback. There's a few people towards the end of last year started wearing turtlenecks. We started yeah. seeing them pop up every now and again. Sherlock Holmes wore one in the new series. And, you know, I think it's, it's back in big, big way back. See, you know, the the turtleneck um, is, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, if you were to combine that with that douchey little, you know, wisp yeah, s- beard, you know, s- snake, s- snake yeah, yeah, beard yeah, yeah. and, you know, and, uh, and horn-rimmed glasses, we are in full-on hipster douchebag territory mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know we've had enough of that i think well, you know think the if t- if the summer of 2013 taught us anything it's that we've seen enough hipsters yeah at I mean, this point we have reached peak, peak hipster. hipster yeah well i think it's that what we're seeing is a natural fall in in uh, hipster numbers i think what's going to happen is those people who are hipsters or walked into fashion shops yeah. by accident and left with a load of hipster well clothes, that, that's because that's because i um Every time I pass by a vintage clothing store, I unleash a lion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that, that's why it's Pain impossible out. to walk down Camden Street. Yeah, is. thin out their numbers. Thin out the numbers. I well, mean, it's been your policy for a long time. It's a very successful policy. We're all aware of it. Hey, that's that's why we came up with this show. Just so, you know, we can explain to people more. People loved it so much. Yeah. They loved the tigers. Yeah. Well-fed it's tigers. Like, are they, very happy this animals. is a man who knows shit. Yeah, but I think the upshot is, is that... There's a lot of turtlenecks just knocking around. Yeah. I get the feeling... Because their owners have been eaten by yeah, exactly. massive cats. I, I get the feeling that people are going to start wearing turtlenecks a lot more. Mm-hmm. Perhaps towards the end, the start of next winter. October time. Are, are, are you seeing sort of like a... You know, a resurgence of the turtleneck, bell-bottom, leather leather shoe well, combination? The, the mustache is definitely going to come yeah. back. Coming yeah, okay. back in a big way. Okay, yeah. okay. That's what I can't. I'm not really great at judging below the waist. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'd, I, I, I give you that's my weakness, Sean. Yeah. We've said it many a times. My weakness is below the waist. Yeah, because you, well, in fairness, you you, for a long time, you weren't aware other people had legs. No. Because you were just too busy looking deeply Deep into people's, people's eyes. eyes you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really get to the heart of the matter. Exactly. Yeah. With these baby blues. Yeah. Straight into it. Somewhat off-putting, but okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, especially when you're buying a magazine or something. Yeah. But. <laughs> I want to buy this pornography. <laughs> yeah. Sir, I need this Razzle magazine today. I need to give it to Oh, Okay, that's that's a bit too much eye contact there. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, I think the turtleneck is going to come back in a big way. Yeah. I think that's going to be not only the fashion statement. I think perhaps somebody at the start of the year will wear it as a fashion statement. The Queen, Prince yeah. Philip, perhaps. So, no, what I, what I mean to ask is, is there going to be a resurgence of the 70s Italian movie Tough Guy look? 
Uh, I don't know if it's gonna. I think that's coming in 2017. Oh, okay. But we're definitely it's warming a, up to it's it. It's a natural progression. It's a natural progression. Right now, we're kind of in late 60s yeah. porn star movie. Oh, right. I guess not. Know. We haven't quite gone. Yeah. Everything hasn't gone completely mm. ridiculous, but we're right on the cusp. See, I, I, I just want to see like a, a remake of, you know, Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's that just. could me. be coming back. I don't know. 2017. Could happen. Can't, we can't see it that far in the future. Absolutely. But we can. Mm. We can guess towards that. That is that is a good prediction, and mm-hmm. I think that one actually might come true. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my first... oh, all of my predictions are guaranteed to come true. Guaranteed, guaranteed. Yeah, Fiverr says at least one doesn't. Mm, well, let me just check them here. Yeah, no, they're all pretty solid. I reckon it's going to happen. Fiverr? Right. Five okay. euros. Five euros. That's a verbal contract there. Verbal contract. Gentlemen. Verbal contract. Verbal handshake. Okay. Okay. My my first prediction is about the uh, a, a rather con- controversial mm-hmm. uh, thing in Irish society right Something at this moment. Something that we at policymakers don't shy away from. Absolutely. We do not shy away from controversy. No. You know, there there is a sensitive topic in mm-hmm. I, in Irish in Irish public life at the mm-hmm. moment. It's uh, how best to commemorate the the 100 year anniversary of the declara- of the declaration mm-hmm. you know and the declaration of and, the republic and the yep. easter rising mm-hmm. and uh, and this is a politically sensitive mm-hmm. issue mm-hmm. because ireland has had a storied history in its time as a republic and even in the dec- in the 2 to 3 decades leading up to that point it's very politically sensitive, mm. and people have shied away from it. Mm. Touchy subject. It's a touchy, touchy subject, mm. and it's a it's a political and ethical minefield because mm. you you don't know who you're who you're going. You know that saying that the people back then who did great things who happened to be part of the same party as some less than reputable characters mm. in the modern era, mm. and I'm putting this as delicately as I fucking can mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a you know very softly yeah. approaching it yep so in that regard I think that the best way to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of our nation is two remorseful drunks uh, you know hand fucking each other in an alley mm. I mean it's quite a bold statement yeah Mm. because there's we have a we have a long standing tradition I mean certainly it's cost saving yeah we have a long standing tradition Mm. of celebrating every major occasion (laughs) in Ireland in that manner yeah with a cheeky hand at the back yeah 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 Christmas Eve two remorseful drunks hand fucking each other in an alley Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day two remorseful Mm -hmm. drunks hand fucking each other in an alley St. Patrick's Day, two remorseful drunks fuck, hand fucking each other in an alley. Every other Easter, two remorseful drunks hand fucking mm-hmm. each other in an alley. You know, um, Fourth of July, my That's birthday, okay. every fucking Bastille ma- day. Bastille, Bastille is mental for Bastille it. Bastille Day, mm-hmm. most Tuesdays, every you know, every major occasion, Flag Day, Flag International day, yeah. Women's Day. Mm-hmm. You know, all Pancake of these, Day, Pancake Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You know, Ash Wednesday, Good Friday. Mm-hmm. You know, we. I mean. To be quite frank, the whole yeah. lead up to Easter is just uh, yeah. a hand bang upon, really. Yeah, really. exactly. I don't, I don't want to go down that alley beside Busker Browns ever. You rough. know, it's rough. It's down. rough down there, and you know, and you it smells want, of quim. What you want is kind of like you definitely want to be wearing, you know, solid pair of boots or oh, something yeah. with like, like Wellingtons. Grip. Wellingtons, something you like know, that. Rubber because gum Wellingtons. You do not want to slip down there. Yeah, you, you just re- slide oh. all the way down. And yeah. you stand up of HIV. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> it's a slip and slide of STIs. Yeah. But um, it literally it's, is a slippery slope. It's a proud, <laughs> proud, yeah. proud historical location. So, <laughs> you know, in order, and in order to get around the thorny ethical issues, we just treat it like any other Easter. Mm, that's that's and we true. Tr- and we celebrate it in the traditional style. Mm-hmm. Remorseful drunks hand-fucking each other in an alley. I mean... I would, I would love to see that. I mean, it would make for a wonderful. What do you mean? Simple... You would love to see that. We've <laughs> I mean, all seen that. I love to see it on Easter. You know, usually, <laughs> I go to mass. <laughs> you know, 
<clears throat> I thought, isn't that how you celebrate Mass? Um, not on Easter. That's the one day of the year you don't. That's the whole point of Easter. Oh, right, it, no? right. Oh, wait. What was it? I, I was some guy they nailed to a tree been, or something. I haven't been to mass. Uh, I haven't been to mass since I was an altar boy. So, well, I mean, it'd be a very good way to celebrate it because you know, uh, expensive firework shows. Mm. Talking about rebuilding boats, to bringing that sh- British ship down. Like, yeah. All these very big and interesting things. It was very expensive. Exactly. Very expensive, and we are as of yet not quite out of the recession. Exactly. You know I mean? We're not out of the woods yet. And what's, what's Whereas, cheaper than a handy behind the alley? Yeah. Exactly. You know, what I mean? you know, I mean, how all you need to do is. You know, I'd say about the price of seven or eight gin and tonics, mm-hmm. seven or eight pints of Beamish. Yeah. And you've got... A couple and you've of bags got of crisps. A couple of bags of crisps. You know, maybe the, pro, you know, maybe the split of a taco fries. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you've got, you've got yourself a celebration right there. You've got some guy going, I could have been someone. Yeah. Well, so could anyone. Yeah. And yeah. that, you know... I I, am, I I think if it really cuts to the truth of the yeah, Irish spirit, you know, you know, and you know she she'll just start yelling at him. Why do you like riding hippos? Have mid hand job, and yeah, he'll just yeah. ride. I'll ride anything I can get me hands on. Yeah, yeah, you know, and just, just like we just like we I'm just lost. Like, I'm lost, Mary. I'm lost. Just, PJ, come back to me. Come back to me. <laughs> you can fucking. You can you can be a better man, PJ. No, it's fucking gone for me. God, it's gone. It's gone for me. Now fucking finish tugging me before I burst. <laughs> the thirst is upon me. The thirst is upon me. <laughs> We're a very poetic nation. And we I truly that, are. I, I think it we really would get to are. like you know what, what it means to be Irish. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because it, like, it, reflective it, of the nineteen sixteen. If raising, it were up to me, that would be our national flag. But I mean, you know, reflective of. 1916, kind of like, you know, the great Irish failure, mm. where it was, you know, poorly planned and poorly thought out, but it became something that we could all rasp behind. Yeah. Just like so many marriages that have <laughs> nearly fallen apart because of dirty hand jobs behind alleyways. Yeah. They leave that, they wake up in the morning, yeah. like, well, we've got to do better. We've got to start yeah. being better people, you know? If, if anything, you know... Uh, a man, a man, semi comatose, leaning against a skip while getting tugged off by a girl with a double chin, is the perfect metaphor for Irish independence. It really is, yeah. And it's not. It always seems like a great idea until yeah. twenty seconds afterwards. <laughs> and that, and if that does not sum up our beautiful nation, yeah. If that doesn't stop the republic, what does? What does, Sean? Also. I... <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that um, I've just said the most offensive thing ever. I'm fairly certain that I've. Well, I don't. I don't think I can get any higher than this. John, the episode's not over yet. <laughs> I lead off strong. What can I say? It's a good start to 2016. That's for sure. So, but, Senan. You have, you have some more predictions for me? I do, yeah, I do. Um, well, we at the Blue Party have uh, we're very much connected into the nexus of um, sweet-based foodstuffs. And we've decided that the half-cup German sweets, yeah, they're called toffees. Oh, yeah. You ever see them? Oh, I love those. Now, could you describe them to the viewers at home? The, um, well, the listeners. Uh, it's a dark. It's a dark chocolate. Mm, it's like a little dark chocolate. Yeah, thing. with a with a sort of a soft toffee in the middle. Yeah, you like, like get, some a, of them have like nuts in them. Yeah, like walnut or something. Yeah. There's like a like half some, cup kind of thing. Some pralines or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they're called. yeah, yeah. 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 Little, little nuts. They're really nice. They're very nice. They're gonna be the snack of 2016. Really? They're gonna be the most important snack of 2016. You mean? I'm sorry. I have I have a counter prediction to that. That mm. I personally think the bounty bar is about to make a well, comeback. You think the bounty is ready for the huge way? Well, we, we know, did the, say the bounty would be close. You know, I'm stepping out on a limb here when I say this. Well, you know, the but, bounty could be coming back. You know, because if I, if anything, two bars for the price of one. You know, because um, I I recently read Robinson Crusoe mm. and I realized that's actually a really good book. And it's mm, like yeah. you know, coconuts they seem awesome. And I'm just going to tell that to everyone I know. So you're going to subtly travel around this great nation of ours, dispensing subtle coconut hints. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just going to bring up coconuts in conversation with people, <laughs> right? And just like, you know, do you know, do you know? 
I bet you haven't had a coconut in a while, huh? Yeah, yeah. And so you're like, hey, uh, do you know where I can get a coconut around here? Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. That leads to some interesting conversations at three o'clock in the morning. I bet, yeah. Because usually my mates are just going, do you mind? I'm getting a hand job <laughs> off a slag in an alley. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, the price of a taco chip stick. <laughs> Put some well, coconuts on it. You only got coconuts, mate. Put some yeah. coconuts on it. A couple of bounties. <laughs> so you think the bounty is going to make a comeback in 2016? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you think that's possibly because of some kind of new extreme advertising campaign? Like they're going to like, oh, hey, recession's over, go on holiday, or buy a bounty, that kind of thing? No, no, it's because the recession, we're still not out of the woods. Right. So you can't really go to tropical destinations. Of course not. No, but, no you can have that little bit of tropical taste with you wherever mm. you go in this soggy, wet fucking country that we live in. Just a little taste of paradise. Just a little taste of paradise. Mm. Mm. Do you think there'll be any change to the bounty or you think it's going to stay, remain um, classic two brick, coconut <laughs> brick formula? Yeah, they're, they're going to use a slightly softer you know coconut formula yeah so it won't be quite as brickish mm. but you know so there'll be a little bit of a give you know when you eat more it. like a kind of In, clay so, doughy kind of you thing. know so instead of that crunchy sort of you know there it, it sort of gives when mm. you eat it you know like a pulled pork sandwich only oh, with coconut. oh right 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 so it's you kind know? of like a bit almost uh, tenderish kind of like exactly. a bit more melty in the mouth exactly right i see and you think that's going to be enough to push them ahead yeah, the that, that and me talking about Robinson Crusoe and how nice coconuts are. And you think that's going to be enough to beat the toffee to well, what, the top of the board? Well, what, what have you got to counter that brilliant plan? I don't need anything to counter that brilliant plan. Toffee is self-fulfilling prophecy. It will just naturally increase. <laughs> okay. It's like uh, it's like tuberculosis. It just gets bigger and stronger every year. All right? And this year is going to be the outbreak. All right? <laughs> Oh. people are going to be in toffee quarantine up and down the country <laughs> it's going to be crazy people will love it my prediction I think that probably electric picnic or mm -hmm. possibly Glastonbury over in England mm -hmm. people are just you won't be able to move them people are going to be throwing them out every band's going to have a stack of them to throw out yeah. going to be the big signs toffee welcomes you to electric picnic well, it's going to be huge you know, they, it's going to outsell Heineken well there, in fairness there hasn't been a band that threw, that threw like loose sweets into the audience no since uh, at Glastonbury since Lost Prophets played there about 10 years ago mm. and um, you know it, it, you know he, it, it was strange doing that to adults but <laughs> yeah. you know it was... but you see the advantage of the toffee yeah. sweet is that it's um, two advantages one one mm -hmm. it's pre-unwrapped so there's no like you know wrapping to undo or anything that's like fair. that that's a fair point and number two it's just about mouth shaped mm. You could just put it right in there, right? Right. So, uh, so the I, advantage being, if you could throw it at someone across the street, yeah, you go, oi, mate, you throw it, and it goes, fuck, hey, <laughs> toffee, hey. That would actually be a great advert for it. Well, I don't know what the rabbit's going to be, but I'm leaving with that. I'm leaving I, with I, that. Okay, okay. I still think you're wrong about that, but we'll agree to disagree for now. We'll we'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see we'll how see. we do. Uh, my third prediction, would you like to hear another prediction? Absolutely. From the Blue Party? Yeah. Now, this is a controversial one. Go on. But once again, we are connected into the Matrix. Okay, go on. And this isn't our opinion of the Blue mm -hmm. Party. It's just <clears throat> the way the world is. Sometimes the world throws you a curl ball. Absolutely. Somehow, some way, mm -hmm. it's some valuable and interesting and different way, Yeah. Nickelback will find a place into our hearts. Oh, that's that's a long shot, sir. I thought I, I know. I, I know. thought I was out there a bit with the bounty being the chocolate of twenty sixteen, but you are really you are like really I said, pushing. like we, we, we checked the numbers repeatedly because obviously we saw them as a that can't be right, but no, it all checks out. But it all but, checks out. But you know, Chad Kroger lo looks he, he looks like the Sacred Heart picture. Oh he looks terrible. Yeah. He it, looks like uh someone who you definitely wouldn't trust with your kids absolutely not yeah it's someone you wouldn't trust if you have 86 chevy yeah your kids. and and anyone who just goes around going hey hey i want to be a rock song yeah yeah that, you know he, he just seems a bit dodge 
you know. I don't know, it's just, like I said, we don't know what it is or how they're going to do it. Perhaps some sort of hostage situation. So just Stockholm Syndrome? Perhaps they bring peace to the Middle East. <laughs> even then, even mm. then. Perhaps they run for president. We, yeah. we don't exactly know how they, you they're know. going to do it. Well, Stockholm Syndrome wouldn't probably won't work because it, if it was going to, it would have by now. Well, I think that was the originally. Yeah, original that was the original joy. plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I see, the thing is as well, we also know it's just Nickelback. Mm. It's not uh, necessarily one of the current lineup of Nickelback. That might change. Yeah. Or something might happen within Nickelback. Mm. Or, you know, mm. uh, events could occur that were unknown to us that yeah. would allow them to re enter our hearts. Then again, maybe their latest album, maybe the next album is just really good. Like, maybe it's really, there, there really, is, really good. There is one thing I can think of, and only one thing, really. Mm hmm. Uh, a collaboration, you know, a crossover album with Taylor Swift. That is the only... That could be the thing. Yeah. See, because that might launch... Oh, no, keep that going. That might launch Taylor Swift into mm. the intergalactic while pulling up Nickelback. I mean, it could be that Nickelback are kind of brought into the wake of Taylor Swift, the Swift wake, See. if you will, and then they're pushed further and further and up and into the stratosphere and back into our hearts however that that could also mean that taylor swift would be dragged down somewhat it could be you know it could to be. the point where she's only making like a hundred million a year but on the other as hand opposed to like a quarter billion i mean like like i said we, we don't know how we don't know why but nickelback coming back i mean surely yeah. that's proof enough to say that yeah you know maybe maybe that's what happens mm. but like i said we can't the future is uncertain john that is true that is yeah. true um, I I wait to be impressed with that one, mm. and um, frankly, like I think I said, frankly I think my five are safe. Like we've seen it, we've seen it. I guarantee it. Like we've seen the odds, we've seen the we've seen whether we got the bits of chicken were on the table. We were like, okay. that's that can't be right. Okay, can't be right. We brought it to our experts. Yeah, but that's that's what's still happening. I don't think I've ever made a, so a more solid bet in my entire life. Mm. Um, I've I've got one. Yep. Um. <clears throat> In uh, in the lame duck in the lame duck months of his presidency, the the final few months mm -hmm. of his presidency, uh, President Obama will give increasingly erratic in interviews and statements to the press. Yeah. Until finally his um his going away speech, uh, at the end he'll just say "Hail Hydra," do a Hitler salute, and run through and run and jump out the window. Wow, that's that's a very dramatic exit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're going to leave American public life. Probably forever. That's the best it's way to do it. Permanent way to do it. That's yeah. for sure. You'll sell a lot of books. Sell yeah. a lot of copies of your autobiography by doing something like yeah, that. Just, that's for sure. Just grab, just grab a tennis racket. <laughs> Who's for tennis? Hop out the window. <laughs> there you go. Free three skidoo. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's. I, I could see it, him doing it. He is definitely beginning to fray at the edges. No, you, 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 you start. You, you, you start out small. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, you know, at the at the start at the start of. You know, at the start of uh, at the at the start, just having going up to the podium and going. Last time a democratic last time a democratic president stood at this thing, Monica Lewinsky was under the fucking thing. Ha! <laughs> hey, see what I did there? Hey, see what hey, I did there? You remember that? You remember that? guys, you know? guys. And then you know, I, you know, it'll progress to the point you think where that people will be like, yeah. "Is Obama doing stand up? Yeah, is that what he's doing? Is this all a joke? Yeah, but and, there's just no punch. And then it just and then from there it just turns into. You know he's he's got a an imaginary rabbit called Harvey, who yeah. Just like who gives him policy advice, mm. you know. So it's like we we will stand tall on we will oh, stand yeah, strong. You do your American Obama yeah. impression. We will stand tall on Syria. Wait, what? One one second. Actually, fuck Syria. <laughs> Harvey says it's a bad idea. <laughs> And it'll just it'll just we will stand tall in Canada. It'll just it'll just turn you know, and it'll just get progressively weirder yeah, and weirder, weirder and weirder to would the point be, where he's just in, lost his mind entirely. No, would this be Barack Obama losing his mind or some sort of bet that he's lost? Ah, uh, yeah, Joe see, Biden. See, they, that's that's the thing. No one will be able to tell. It'll be like oh. um, you know, when Joaquin Phoenix tried to be a gangster rapper. Yeah, and yeah. everyone was like, "Is he? Is he? Is he taking real? the piss? Is that, or is he being yes. serious?" It's kind of like that. Only the commander in chief, the most powerful man in the right. world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the launch codes and all that. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be 
See, I think that he would do this crazy speech and then leave, you yeah. know, Marine One or whatever. Mm. And then people will say, that's strange. Maybe we should go check his medicine. Let's go check his medical cabinet. And open up the medical cabinet and it's empty. That's weird. And then they go into the president's mm. living quarters. And that's empty as well. And they're like, what's going on? Why is there a president here at all? Mm. And then they go into the White House and it's just an old guy with a mop, mopping the Oval Office yeah. or whatever. <laughs> and they're like, excuse me, excuse me, have you seen President Barack Obama? And he go, no, there hasn't been a President Obama here in over 20 years. <laughs> Turns out he was a ghost, ghost all, all the time. time. <laughs> ghost president. <laughs> And the guy from the guy from uh, Minnesota was right all along. He was like he was a ghost president. In the words of M Night Shyamalan, what a twist! What a twist! Oh man! That... And everyone would be like, "Oh, oh my no god! Way. Whoa. Whoa! That's eight years! Whoa! <laughs> that's 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 number six. That's what we have here. Number six: <laughs> President Obama, ghost president. <laughs> yeah." That would be amazing, though, and that, that will blow you away, right? Yeah, I, I honest and frankly, I, I give him the benefit of the doubt when it happens, when it inevitably happens. Yeah. People will think he's gone crazy. The stress of the job has just mm-hmm. cracked him. But I'll just know. I'll know. You that know my, that my boy Barry, he's <laughs> yeah, he's still cool. Old Baz knows yeah. what's going on. Maybe he'll come to Ireland. Maybe he retires, and I'm like, oh, he's vanished. Yeah, I mean, end up in Ireland. He'll move to his ancestral home in Offaly. <laughs> yeah. Spend a couple of weeks there and go this go yeah. work in Galway. You know, but, you know, <laughs> going out to Wine Galley in Galway. <laughs> <laughs> so Senan. Yeah. <laughs> Any other predictions you'd like to share with us? Um Well, mm. owing to the hundred year celebration of the Great Irish defeat in nineteen sixteen. <laughs> Okay. Um, the failed revolution. Mm-hmm. The failed revolution, I s- sorry. Okay. Uh, there'll be a lot of stealing from yeah. clo- from clothes, from, um, what do they call them, um, from sets, yeah. movie sets. Okay. You know, like, they're obviously going to have a lot of stock footage of guys firing 1960 mm. rifles or lads in the fields or whatever like yeah. that. So people are going to rob bits of those because they hire extras because Ireland is very cheap for extras. Absolutely. Therefore, I predict the flat cap is going to be the cap 2016. Really? Well, the hat of 2016, yeah. Oh, wow. I think the flat cap. In Ireland. Now, it's oh. kind of... It, a couple of years ago, there was a lot of flat cappage going on. Mm. Then Madonna wore one. And yeah. everyone got turned off for it. Yeah. Well, that, well, in fairness, that was around the time she was pretending to be British. Yeah, and it was just wasn't working. Yeah. But this time, I think it's going to come back. Because I think what's going to happen is... It's not going to be shops... American shops selling it to American customers. Mm. It's just going to be Irish lads wearing them. Really? And I think, like, if you look at a crowd of people anywhere in the world, yeah. like, one in four of those is probably Irish. <laughs> and you'll be able to spot them from now on because they're he, wearing flat caps. He'll be the guy using his headed payment voucher to get into yeah. nightclubs in, yeah. in, in Johannesburg. Yeah, he'll be walking around the streets of Tokyo and you look over and you're like, is there any Irish lads in here? Can't really... Say-. There's what there is. We're in a Celtic jersey. <laughs> yeah. so that's how you spot them. And the flat cap. And the farmer's town. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and seven foot six as well yeah <laughs> yeah. and the casual racism to casual racism to just add it all up <laughs> um, yeah so I think that the flat cap will be the hat of 2016 okay okay um, I, I've got another prediction mm-hmm. it's um, in, or, in order to sh- in order to shamelessly cash in on mm. the Star Wars franchise that it purchased um, Disney will release uh, a bunch of origin stories for the famous characters in the Star Wars universe. Really? So there'll be one for for like a Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. There'll be one for for Yoda. One mm-hmm. for Mace Windu. Mm-hmm. One for you know Qui Gon Jinn. One for one for the Emperor. You know Obi Wan. The works like yeah. And there'll even be one for R two D two, which will just be like a. Uh, an episode of Discovery Channel's "How Do They Make That" oh, yeah. with a with a skin with like a skin job with like a mod skin job over it. You know? Yeah, yeah, I can, I, yeah, I, I'd watch that. Yeah, absolutely. I'd watch that all day. In fact, yeah, yeah, like that makes a very complex thing. So it's yeah. probably gonna be a three parter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like season how, finale. You know how how do they give him such a plucky personality? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the interesting thing is, you know, the little eyeball that kind yeah. of changes colors. Mm. So that's 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 actually actually half marble. Really? So they have to produce marbles 
yeah. on site and cut them, them in half. half. Yeah, yeah, really, it's a big process. Yeah, yeah, because wow. that's cheaper. It's just they found it out that mm, in terms of factory, that's cheaper to do that. Huh? I yep. did not know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are full of useful information. Yep, I studied at useful information college. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Well, I got a master's anyway. <laughs> it only took me two weeks. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, my next prediction yeah. is on the line as we were talking about. The, okay. the, as per Barack Obama will step mm-hmm. down through yeah. the window, obviously <laughs> the next president will have to come up. Yeah. Now we can't predict yeah. who's going to be the president. Yeah, we cannot. I mean, it is wide open. You know, we 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 can't definitely say that it's going to be Hillary Clinton. We no, we cannot say we that. We cannot definitely, definitely say definitely say there's definitely 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 going to be Hillary Clinton. We can't yeah. say that possibly. We can't we can't we, say that. We can't say, can't say that. We can't say that. Yeah. No, definitely not. It is too close to call at the moment. Too close to call it is just too to close s- to call. To say that there'll be two Clintons in the White House yeah. is that that yeah. it's it could happen. Mm. You know what I mean, but we can't say that it definitely, definitely will happen. Yeah, yeah. it's it's going it's going to be fun times. You know, just on a diplomatic level. Yeah, you know, because um, you usually how these things happen when uh, heads of state come to visit the 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 uh, you know the White House. Yeah. Um, the the first lady of America will take the first lady of whatever, like yeah, say France, France or whatever. whatever. Yeah. And uh, take them, uh, take them outside to drink tea and you know exchange pleasantries and that mm-hmm. sort of thing. While the while the husbands, they talk they talk business. Yeah, yeah, man's business. Yeah, yeah. If, however, Hillary gets elected, that will be Bill Clinton's job. Yeah. And no, no foreign dignitaries will visit the White House for <laughs> at least yeah. four years. Yeah, I think that like uh, apart from the Germans because they're freaky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like, it's just going to say the Dutch will probably get over there for a couple. Of, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure Angela won't mind Mister Merkel hanging out with them. I think there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, when the when you first meet the president and there's like you know an exchange whatever that. Yeah. I think that's the first time we're going to say that nearly every meeting is going to be started by them going, mm-hmm. oh, "Hey, Mister President, <laughs> what's uh, what's uh, what's going on? You, uh, yeah, yeah, the economics crazy. Right? <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of that. You know, it's it's gonna be the first time in 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 recorded American history where the the president's spouse will be standing behind the foreign head of state, just doing this the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that it's gonna make. Um, what would you call that? The um, the games room? Is that what they call it? Man shed. Yeah, the man, the man shed. Man, 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 shed. <laughs> man shed. One of those jobs. I think like that man shed. Bill Clinton's <laughs> man shed is going to be awesome. Built by fr- built by FDR back, <laughs> back in the thirties. The man shed was <laughs> improved by Bill Clinton. Of its course. Own smoking corner. <laughs> smoking corner slash sex dungeon. Yeah, and well, you're just going to go in there, and it's going to be this really. Uh, beautiful big state room with mm. like a billiard table and the you know, yeah. it's very old and vintage. And just in the corner, there's going to be a Super Nintendo, <laughs> with three <laughs> controllers because everyone's got missing. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, in front of a little, would call that like let's say maybe well, you know, seven inch TV. Well, go up, you know. They did have gore over, but he's shit at Mario yeah. Kart. So. And there's going to be two bean bags. I mean, three bean bags, right? Mm. Uh, the middle one is for you or yeah. whoever is the visiting dignitaries. Mm. Significant other, yeah. And on one side is going to be uh, Bill Clinton mm. and nachos, and on the other side is going to be Barack Obama and a bong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they're going to conduct, yeah, first lady's business from now on. Absolutely, yeah. You know, there everyone's going to get a feel. There's some new ladies in town. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to be Actually, fun on the bun. You know, if that doesn't happen, I think it's a it's a fucking it's a script that needs to be written. For at least like two or three of the SNL, SNL yeah, I reckon night. so. Yeah. yeah, the guys just hanging out. Absolutely, what up, bro? What up? <laughs> can you believe we're? Can you believe we're in the White House? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, fill in, <laughs> fill in. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another prediction. This one got away from us. <laughs> uh, I've got. Uh, we have three more predictions left yeah. now. Okay. From the blue part, do you have any more predictions? 
I may do. I'm not, you know. Mm. There, You're there still are, taking the information I'm, in. I'm taking the information. I mean, you have, you've had at least at least 20 people come up to you and hand you slips of paper. That is true. Yeah. And it's been very, it's non-stop, basically. I mean, yeah. your phone, your little iPad device there is just going crazy. Look, look, you know, I I decided Tinder would be worth it, would be <laughs> worth a go. Appar- yeah. Apparently I was right. <laughs> it's been great. It's been amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, one of my predictions. Go on. Wizards will be huge. They're making a comeback. Really? Yep. Uh, almost, let's see, it was 2001 we reached peak wizard. Was it 2001 yeah. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter? No, no, it was around 2005. I 2005, think. Well, whatever, whatever year it was. It was yeah. around that time. I think it was maybe the third Lord of the Rings yeah. movie. Harry Potter was mm. halfway through the season. Yeah. And there was still a lot of wizard to come, but the peak wizard had yeah. dropped. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. There are still people out there who keep on wizarding. People but, love to keep on wizarding, man. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think in 2008 we, we witnessed a severe mage crash. Yeah. You know, the global wizard crisis and all the rest of it. But I think we're finally tentatively getting back into... Yeah. Uh, uh, in 2015 we got back to a standard background wizard. Yeah. And now I think we're going to start pushing into... I think it's going to be a big year for wizards. So how, what, what do you think will spark this uh, upswing? For uh, a, a wizard. Hmm? A wizard. In like, general, like an actual wizard, he's gonna go. Oh, oh, like a like a legit wizard. Yeah, like a legit wizard. He's gonna turn up yeah. and be like, "Hey guys, shit this out," and and, and, and people, will go, oh, that's really cool. And then wizards will be back, like yeah. And he'll just like turn himself into an owl and fly around for a bit. Yeah, he probably turn himself into an owl or like turn the night into day or mm. you know lightning bolts something like that. Okay, okay, I can. Are I people can... are be gonna be like, really fearful at first. Yeah, and be like, oh my god, a real life wizard. He's gonna kill us all. And the wizard's mm. gonna. That's right. I'm only joking. Through that door there, twenty five ninety five a month, you could join Wizard Yale or Wizard School, <laughs> yeah. and it's going to open up a Wizard School, and I think that's really going to you know help. So, the, so what, what you're things. what you're seeing is is sort of like a cross between Hogwarts and the Open University. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like, lots of online tutorials. Yeah, like I don't. Like, I think uh, for people who want to upskill into wizardry. Yeah, I think after this year. We won't really, like it won't be as peak as it was during like Lord of the Rings of time. Course, of course, of course. But it'll still be a big year for Wizards, yeah. and it's slowly going to drop off and off and off until yeah. about seven or eight years from now. Yeah, it takes seven years to be a doctor, mm. and all those people who stuck with it mm. are going to start graduating. Yeah, kind of like uh, electronic music when yeah. it first came out in the early seventies, it was really big. Yeah, but then it dropped off massively. Mm. But then in the eighties, mm. came back again because those people had mastered. Yeah, how to use electronic music just like that, but with spells. And then it'll just be it'll just become a constant. From then on, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that there will be like a certain level of wizardry and yeah, general yeah. and general like um, you know practicing of the magic arts in yeah. society. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. kind of like um, kind of like rugby. But um, you know, you know, people are just like there's always rugby around. It's always aren't like you, aren't around. you worried that there will be security concerns at all? Uh, no. You know, like what what will happen to Donald Trump's fence if there's just like a Mexican wizard who can turn it into pizza or something I, he's going to have to think of a wizard proof fence isn't he yeah. I mean you know and that, what, that's the challenges of the new wizard based world you know I mean, yeah the, this will this I will mean be, when you think about it it'll, it'll be, be a paradigm shift it'll be fence. a paradigm shift I mean if you went back to uh, uh, 1996 mm. and gave someone a smartphone and told them all the things they could do it would blow yeah. their mind it's going oh, to be absolutely. the same thing with the wizard the wizard is going to be as important the, as the internet yeah and right now we're at like what would you call those was it Nokia the first phones you get yeah. internet on mm. or the, the iPhone first yeah. iPhone that's kind of where we are now that wizard iPhone level so in about say two or three years you mm. might want to get in on the, the whole new time market on the ground floor yeah exactly yeah yeah okay just just keep that in mind keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen 2018-19 keep, keep an eye Keep an eye. Yeah, keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I can get behind that. I can dig it. Um, We've also got one about the uh, inauguration. Inauguration? Inauguration. Inauguration? Yeah. They're bringing in a new president. Yeah. Uh, It's going to be backed by Ska Band. Really? Ska. Yeah, Ska's back. So, like, real big fish, less than Jake? Something like that, yep, yeah. I get straight oh. like manifesto. That'd be good. Perhaps a perhaps a standard big brass band. Yeah. Turn Ska? Okay. So, okay. like, maybe like Jules Holland and uh, who's that guy who did that song with Amy Winehouse? Um, um, oh, I know the guy you're talking about. Yeah, he's into brass. Um, 
How about just the Hot 8 Brass Band? You know, hot 8 Brass Band, band. yeah. Those guys in Jules Holland, they're going to get mm. together and they're like, oh, we're going to do something for the president. Mm. President. To be filled in later. Yeah. Oh, be, 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 be later. <laughs> That's a weird way to say Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, she or he yeah. is going to get together <laughs> and they're going to have like a big brass extravaganza yeah. and it's going to get Scar and everyone's going to mm. be like, oh, yeah, Scar's really cool. Oh, is that Wizard? Mm. Scar. Wizard Scar. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Wizard Scar. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you have my attention mm. there. It's a new genre of music. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's all we see is Wizard you know, Scar. The pretty big Gandalfs. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Scar's coming back. Um, do, you, do you reckon Wizard Gangster Rap will ever happen? I don't like know. old grey bastard. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's yeah. a good title. You know what I mean? You know. You shall not pass. I'll kick your ass. You know that's uh, like NWA. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, just I mean, what, no, you, no, you all know it. You all work it out there. WWA. No, no, no. NWA. <laughs> uh, trust me. When they come out, everyone's going to be like. Oh, okay. I don't okay. know. We have to leave some mystery in 2016. Yeah. You know what Absolutely, because I mean? we do know what's going to happen. Oh, we know what's going to happen, and we do. We just don't want to. We don't want to give too much away. Well, that's that, that's what this whole thing is about. Yeah. Is that we're connected into the global matrix. We know yeah. exactly what's going to happen. Absolutely. We know what's going to happen, mm. but you have to release it in a certain way. Small you doses. can't give too much away. Yeah. Uh, uh, by 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 the way, um, you know, round round about May. You might want to buy some. You might want to buy some wellies. Mm. I can't yeah. I can't? I literally cannot say any more than that. Mm. Like my arms are tied, but I cannot. You know, just saying. Like early May, like about the, the fourth, the fifth. Mm-hmm. Buy some wellies. Anyways, they they'll come in handy. They'll come in handy. You they will you'll be ahead of the game if when you it, have wellies. When it happens, you'll know. You'll know exactly you'll know. when it happens, and you don't have wellies. You'll, you'll know. know. You'll definitely know. <laughs> you won't forget that. Oh, day, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh fuck! I don't even Ooh. want to tell. Oh God! How but, you... the smell will stay. Uh, oh, oh, that, oh, oh, right. Yeah. Just not too much. <laughs> Good willies. Yeah. Good thick ones. I didn't. You know, I didn't think Jordan had it in her. But I. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, right, uh, right, right. You don't right, want to bring sorry, on the coast monster. Sorry, sorry. Uh, there's only two more predictions left here from the um, from the um, mm. blue parity. Uh, Second last one, Island War. Island War. Island War. Okay. Uh, we don't know what that is. I'm not exactly sure how it links it, but just Island War. So, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So is will this be like an actual war or? Yeah. Well, we could suppose that it'd be an actual war. Or you know, is it just? I mean, what, what clarifies an actual war? <laughs> I mean, what's the difference between you know yeah, an actual like, war and a not actual war? Like a declaration and you know skirmishes and battles, battles and, and fights and stuff you know, like and that. Fortification, islands, and pillboxes, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, machine guns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sort of it. thing. Yeah. Oh, so like, any, I, I'm just wondering. Any is, ideas? Because like one gun probably isn't a war, is it? Oh, you need you need multiple you know, war, guns. But I wonder what the limit is. Um, I'm thinking... Do you think it's like weighted munitions? Sorry? Like weighted munitions? Like once you have like two tons of munitions, that's a war. I think so, yeah. If you so, have like 20 pounds less than that, they're like, no, yeah. sorry, that's not a war. I mean, it's very close, but that's not really a war. I think something along those lines. Mm. And, um, hmm, I think... So, like, well, the Iron Islands are definitely going to be involved in this somehow. Well, I don't see why not they get involved in everything else. Yeah, exactly. And they do love a scrap. They love fighting. Remember when we went to Vietnam? Mental. (laughs) Mental crack. Yeah, the Connacht Rangers. They sorted that shit. Right right up there. there. Right up there. And just eight or nine short years later, they had peace. (laughs) Um, I have have one more prediction. Okay. From the Red Party? Um, Sometime around April, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, My cousin Bob Mm -hmm. in in Cavan. Mm Mm-hmm. He's going to sit down and watch a Neil deGrasse Tyson series Cosmos mm-hmm. and get really into physics and astronomy for like two or three weeks before he completely loses interest. Mm. It's a very good prediction. Yeah. Uh, I, I I believe that. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have the cable at the moment, but he's getting the sky yeah, soon. Right? And in fairness, he's thick as pitch. Yeah, he's not the smartest. Cavan yeah. lad. Like, yeah, Cavan lad. What do you expect? What do you expect? I mean, they don't even know where to do it. They probably don't even look up. No mind on the TV. <laughs> hey, yeah, dogs, dogs can look up, all right? <laughs> yeah, but Cavan. <Kevin. laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good prediction. Like, once again, all of our predictions, ladies and gentlemen, are pretty much guaranteed. Absolutely. That is guaranteed. And sometimes they're not as far reaching yeah. or as important as others, but. Yeah. I think we, we started off strong. That's a, it's a, good, it's a good prediction. Yeah. It's a solid prediction. I, I, I absolutely believe that will happen. Absolutely. We'll try and get it into the papers. I, in fact, I will put 20 quid on that says that happens. 20 quid that says the on Do you want a verbal handshake? Verbal handshake. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and one last prediction. Oh, go on. And it's the last one. Yeah. Uh, once again, can't really give you more information than what we have written down. Okay. 2016, the year of Brown. And on that note... I've been Sean Sheridan. And I've been Seven Waldron. We've been the policy makers. Go all in. You have been listening to Policymakers, a podcast uh, written and produced by me, Seven Waldron, and Sean Sheridan. It was a Robot House production.